heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. Oh, right. What is up, a fellow Paul Duty? Elite George Julia goes to Vade, I'm balls deep, only halfway in, yeah. How y'all doing, man? You doing good? Hope you are. Thank you for being here. And skill-based matchmaking ain't got shit on the Ghost of Eight. I got this wrapped up, beat down. I am the most amazing Call of Duty gamer, literally, on this platform. It is so easy to circumvent skill-based matchmaking and drop 150 kills in a game like the one you're watching in front of me where I get ultra kills, super ultra kills, I don't know man, just streaks after streaks after streaks and absolutely decimate this enemy team in front of you. Because I'll tell you why, because the whole entire Call of Duty ecosystem, all these Call of Duty gamers, dudes who are saying they're really great and look all these kills they get and all this amazing gameplay they got. Well, let me break it down for all of you out there who may not be privy to this information that goes to vape. Balls deep only halfway in, biggest stud on this whole platform, the only man out here I identify as a two bald, one cock, big stud. Let me be honest with you guys. Let me break it down. Every single one, okay, not every single one. I can't say that. Pretty much though, all these guys who you watch, who've got great gameplay or who are dropping nukes and doing all this amazing stuff are absolutely cheating losers who suck at the game because of an old head, not even that good at Call of Duty compared to these people nowadays. I mean, like, obviously I'm better than a lot of people because I can get put into dum dumb lobbies and absolutely just decimated. But all these guys out here who are slayers and hey guys, I'm so I'm, I'm slander. Guys, I just dropped 75 kills in one zone. Make sure you enter my discount for wife's boyfriends type ass wipes. Those dudes. Those guys are all phony fake and this whole entire skill-based matchmaking is absolutely the easiest, easiest thing to exploit in gaming history. I have started two boxing and I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see for myself. Black Ops 6 sucks so bad anyways. And the skill-based matchmaking is so thick that I cannot play this game regularly for being honest. I cannot go straight up head to head. I cannot handle it. Can't hang with it. I hate it. It would be fun, but it's not. So I started two boxing because I want to see what this is all about. So I have a PlayStation 5, I have a PC and I two boxed. I two boxed today. And I literally played, I don't know, three or four games, and every game that was Team Deathmatch, I had 50 kills or more. I played one game of Domination, I dropped 143 kills, and I'm not even that great at Call of Duty in comparison to a lot of these people out here who are young now and have grown up playing Call of Duty and have Mother Nature, Father Nature, Father Time, whatever you want to call it, catches up to you and your reflexes get a little slower, and people nowadays are just really good at Call of Duty because they're losers and they got no life and they grew up on social media and their brains are rotten and their frontal lobes are developed poorly and they make poor decisions and society's probably fucked. But besides that point, besides that point, two box and playing Call of Duty is the dumbest and easiest thing ever did in my life. And in fact, when I play in these lobbies, I actually apologize. I feel bad. It's like I'm playing against girl basketball team. It's like I'm out here as a stud 6'6", 240 pound alpha male, back to back 94 95 stunt cock Johnny Sins impersonator of the year. He gets tired. I come in there and lays like, thank you. God, Johnny's out. The ghost of eight's in. And I'm decimating these people. Decimating dudes. I feel guilty almost that I'm beating up these guys. I hear them talk in the lobby and they don't seem to have head injuries or suffer from any kind of mental discrepancies. But they definitely are not that good at the game. I mean, honestly, I did hear some chirps. I'm not playing Call of Duty straight up ever again. Two boxing was easy. It's like stress-free. I go out there and try to play my ass off and dominate like I'm doing in the gameplay behind you. Or... Or I can just have fun, joke around, whatever it is. But all I know is that me doing this is definitely putting a spotlight on how phony and all these YouTubers making tons of money with their sponsors and looking like they're good at Call of Duty and getting subs. They got no talent. They got no entertainment fact. They look like a bunch of fucking dweebs. But yet they get some good gameplay because they're cheating. And it's so easy. It is so easy. I'm playing against just regular dudes. 
and I'm absolutely killing them. And it shows how good I actually am at Call of Duty compared to the average people out there and why skill-based matchmaking exists. Or maybe it doesn't. You know what? It shows like how bad, or not even how bad, they're not even that bad. It just shows the different levels of players and how we're all just put into little boxes and we're being segregated and segregation is really happening and we need to all just play together. We all need to drop the skill-based matchmaking because skill-based matchmaking does nothing but hurts decent players of Call of Duty and it doesn't even help the bad players and it helps people like myself now and all these Call of Duty gameplay nuke drop and meta weapon loadout YouTubers who are making tons of money off the stupidity of the people who watch them who don't know any better, who don't understand that they're cheating to get into these easy lobbies to make themselves look like they're actually good at Call of Duty. I mean, you look at the gameplay behind me, I look like the greatest Call of Duty player of all time. Time. I'm out here making Scump look like a mental midget with a handicap, one arm, a club foot, four eyes, red hair, ginger dweeb. But he gets good women, good looking women. He's got a lot of money. And that's the most important lesson we need to learn in life. Men's only worth is what they can provide to the world and women. If you can't provide, they don't care about us, guys. They don't give a damn about us. Very few women do. If you can find a woman that cares about you, broke or rich, you need to marry her. I don't care if she's a 400 pound fucking whale looking like a beach sea lion <laughs> you marry that broad if she's big she probably can cook pretty well or at least you know definitely knows how to defrost something but i'm exposing it all with this video i'm exposing everything i'm showing you how easy it looks i'm openly admitting two boxing every gameplay you're going to see where i'm dominating for the most part is two boxing i'm never going back i'm on team two box but unlike the rest of these phonies out here I'm not going to take credit like, oh, I'm so good at Call of Duty. No, I'm not. It's like me playing basketball against a bunch of grade six girls and then being proud that I just dunked on all of them and put my nuts in their face like I was EDP 445 trying to make an excuse like, I was just looking for a cupcake, cupcake there on the backboard. You know what I'm saying? Listen, 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 kids. Listen, adults. This is all nonsense. The whole world's filled with a bunch of bullshit because it's all about money and none of these people are even sincere. I don't care who they are. But I'm sincere, I'm honest, and you got to vote for me. Ghost of Eight, Prime Minister of Canada 2024. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Hey, uh, that's what, hey, go, go to the group chats. Notify the group chats. We need to make a movement out here. Like, literally, come on, come on. Let's, let's bring it in, bring it in, come on, come on. Bring it in, bring it in. All right, let's be honest. I'm the fucking best. It just is what it is. You can try to deny, you can try to hate all these other YouTubers out here, but they know. They know I'm the best. I'm the originator. I'm the stud. I'm the OG. And you guys, you know what? I appreciate you. I love you. Thanks for watching. Stay black. Question authority. Let the high cracker to the shape shifters. Blue bays. Hard screen shells. Sim levels. Like under door. Sound like being old. flat. News fake. Owls. Old hills. Forest to the frogs. Gay. White man. Bring it down.